When talking about high quality power supply units, sooner or later terms like DC to DC, LLC or synchronous rectifier are used. They sound important and they are important. But most users probably don't know what they mean and what they are good for and to be honest, it is quite technical. But if you're interested in diving a bit deeper into the mysterious world of PSU design, then keep watching. The first and foremost job of a power supply unit is to convert the alternating current or AC from the power socket to stable direct current otherwise known as DC. AC constantly changes its polarity, DC does not. So you use a rectifier or bridge to convert a rectify AC into pulsating DC with several hundreds of volts which is then getting smoothed by a dedicated capacitor. In the end this is how we are getting a smoothed out DC which is pretty much the feedstock of every power supply. It's a technology called half bridge that's responsible for creating a high frequency AC in the kilohertz range by using two transistors, the so-called MOSFETs, by activating and deactivating a short power impulse. Describing the whole process would blow this video way out of proportion, but let's just say that without this so-called scramble process, which happens right here, the power supplies would need to be really large and weigh several kilograms. The higher the frequency, the smaller the transformer capacitors and coils can ultimately be. But here's the problem in this wiring. If the switch is closed, a high amount of current runs through, but no voltage. If the switch is open, a high voltage is available, but no current. So by rapidly opening and closing the switch, you have a very small delay in which current and voltage are available in equal measure. The LLC technology takes the rigid square poles of the on-off switch and transforms them into smooth sinus waves with the polarity reversal happening at exactly the baseline. With this so-called zero voltage and zero current switching there is almost no power dissipation and also the resulting power is delivered wave-like. Which means that it has to be less smoothened out later on, which means smaller capacitors. PC components demand multiple stable voltages. In earlier days you used a 230 volt line to create all the different rails 12 volts, 5 volts, 3.3 volts and the 5 volt standby power. The DC to DC converter is a part of the power supply which transforms the original power to 12 volts only and only afterwards converts them to 5 and 3.3 volts. This has the benefit that the DC to DC topology facilitates really strong 12 volt rails. Another advantage lies in the efficiency. Without the DC to DC topology, excess voltage simply ends up in the power supply unit's loads and create unwanted heat. Also voltage sources are being tapped differently. If GPU and CPU are hungry for power, but at the same time there is no demand for 5 volt energy, a negative cross load effect occurs. These lateral loads lead to a slight decline in 12 volt power, which has to be rectified. This adjustment, however, also increases the voltage to the 5 volt rail, which can harm the components in the long term. The DC to DC technology removes the cross load problem as the load is always restricted to the 12 volt rail and the other voltages are being created afterwards and separately. So if you use high quality components sitting behind the DC to DC converter, they receive high quality voltage. As it's also important that what is known as ripple and noise of the original voltage is as low as possible. Even converted energy can still transport minimal fluctuations which are being smoothed out in our power supplies by high grade capacitors. And the worse the quality of the arriving 12 volt energy, the shorter the lifespan of these capacitors. In this process of transformation into a steady 12 volt stream, the energy flows galvanically separated through two magnet coils, which prevents feedback effects. The one side is the primary side, while the other one is known as the secondary side. And here is where the synchronous rectifier technology comes into operation. 
Normal rectifiers have the problem that their diode-based architecture is prone to high power dissipation. In layman's terms, it means that this can mean a loss of up to 20 watts. Using the synchronous rectifier technology with MOSFETs and two IC chips prevents this loss. The IC chips, these two beauties here, are each located on the primary and secondary side of the PCU. Their job is to supervise and control all incoming and outgoing voltage. If the chip on the secondary side encounters a problem, it quickly reports this to the primary side by using light signals through the optocoupler. So here you can see the primary side and the secondary side and these two sides communicate with each other. And this fully wireless process allows the intelligent system to react in a matter of split seconds to possible problems so that they can be rectified immediately. So yeah, you heard right. Your power supply unit is more intelligent than you might have thought. Using synchronous rectifiers increases the average efficiency of a power supply by 2 to 3 percent. In the end, a full army of capacitors and coils take care of converting a pulsating high frequency voltage into the stable and most of all smoothed out direct current that your PC components crave. And this in a nutshell is how power supplies work. They get their alternate current from the power socket, smooth it, scramble it into high frequency, transform it into the necessary voltage, which means 12 volts with DC to DC technology, create the other voltages, transform everything down again and smooth it one more time for good measure. And all the while be as quiet as a whisper. Well then, stay quiet.